it out. Women from all over the continent are headed our way. They're just dolls, aren't they? Oh, you mean Auto Memories dolls. They're beautiful women who come to you and compose beautiful letters. Whatever the client wants. <laughs> well, I heard that the reason dolls dress up is because they someday dream of marrying a rich man. If called, they come to you anywhere in the world, selling their ability to write. At first, that job actually disgusted me. I don't know why. And the fact that I was confused about it, well, it made me angry. Violet, it's been a while. How you been? Bluebell, Iberus, Lucilia. Hi, Violet. I admired your work with the Princess of Drossel. You did a great job. I know. I read all about that, too. I'm honored to know you, Violet. You're really inspiring. Mm, something wrong? No, nothing. Thank you very much. Are you okay? You seem a little down. Oh, Violet. Everyone, your attention! Uh, I am Lebelier, the chief of Shahar Astronomy Headquarters of the Justitia Observatory. It's a pleasure to meet you all. It's a pleasure to meet you too, Mr. Lebelier. Wow. <coughs> As you can see simply by looking around, the Shahar Astronomy Headquarters has a library specializing in books on astronomy from many places and eras. Each and every book in our possession is maintained every day by the staff members from our transcription department. If they find one in distress, their duty is to preserve the information. It's a necessary job at our observatory. If that was their only task, we would have plenty of people to handle it. But last month, we were fortunate to receive an enormous volume of extremely valuable manuscripts, all of them in terrible condition. Among them are some manuscripts that would completely fall apart as soon as you turn the page. So we brought in 80 Auto Memories dolls, along with our 80 transcription staff members. You will be working in pairs to decode and transcribe the manuscripts. We only have two weeks to complete this. In order to fulfill our duty to preserve valuable information for our successors, we request your full cooperation with this project. All right. Next, Kyle Zenith. He'll be paired with Iberus Conway of Fujimi Post Office. Iberus Conway at your service, sir. Uh, yeah. How are you? Next, Leon Stephanatis. You'll be paired with Violet Evergarden of the C.H. Postal Company. It is a pleasure to meet you. If it is your wish, I will travel anywhere to meet you. Auto Memories Doll at your service. Violet Evergarden. <gasps> Oh. Is something wrong? What's the matter, Leon? Are you okay? Uh, uh, uh. It's nothing. Ah, now then. No, remain seated. I'm sorry. It's fine. Let's see how you do with this manuscript written in a common classical language. It's an observation record of Ali's Comet from 400 years ago. Ali's Comet? Right. You see, Ali's Comet only comes around once every 200 years. It'll be observed here at Shahar Observatory soon. Copy that, sir. Huh? Okay, let's begin. Yes. I'm going to warn you that I'm fast at decoding. If you're unable to keep up with me, then I'm afraid you're useless to... Uh... Yes, I'm fully aware. Th then show me what you can do. The arrow of light pierced mightily through the dark heavens. Its long lumbering tail slashed the head of St. Barbarossa. 
According to an astrologer named Ariadna, the arrow of light was considered to be a very bad omen. After it passed, the plague spread, bringing about the death of the king which shook the country. Saint Barbarossa was also pierced with the arrow of light which separated his body and soul. The arrow of light appeared in the past as well as told by the words of Ariadna. According to legend, it's also known for taking the bride of King Reinhardt, the king of the land of fairies. The light brought death to nobility. Women became royal mistresses. Men were sacrificed at the banquet. And so, with that being the case, its parting was not a tragedy. In the eternity of the land of fairies, they were blessed with a new vessel, and its soul would be protected forevermore. All right, sir. Please continue if you would. Uh, yes, well, it seems as though you're able to keep up. The death of the nobility caused distress among the people, as the arrow of light caused fear. I guess that's all the time we have. 144 pages. Sir, we were just able to complete three days' worth of work. Your work pace is very efficient. I know that. Today's progress was extremely favorable. One pair has actually finished three days' worth of work already. Please, keep up the good work tomorrow as well. So, how are you still standing after doing so much work? Writing is far less tiring when compared to traveling. Our duty as dolls is to travel anywhere for our clients, no matter how far or how difficult it may be. I carry around my suitcase all year long, traveling on various modes of transportation. Yes, but I don't understand why you choose to do this. Why do I do it? Because I was given this role. <laughs> when I first started, I saw it as my duty. But then I started to see how many different emotions were involved with it. And now I'm... Entrusted with the thoughts and feelings of the people of the past. I write them down in order to preserve them for all of the generations to come. I've come to realize that's a very special thing. Yes, you're right. But I question whether or not I'm worthy of this wonderful work. What are you trying to say? <laughs> that I feel bad that Leon's your partner. We all know he's insufferable. He was an orphan who couldn't afford to work here without Shahar's support. He doesn't deserve to work with a beautiful woman like you. So, after work, why don't you come and hang out with us? I'm an orphan too. And I haven't lived a decent life as you seem to think. In fact, I only learned how to write a few years ago. So, if for some reason your upbringing limits the circle of people you interact with, I suggest that you do not get involved with me. No, but you're different, right? Yeah, of course. You know, Leon's mother was... I don't even know my parents' faces. <laughs> you're just defending him because he's your partner. No, you're wrong. I'm merely stating the truth. <sighs> Let's go. She just doesn't seem to get it. Sir, did you find the book you were looking for? I found it. Are you angry about something? No. no, I'm not. This is just the way I look. Actually, I'm told that I'm expressionless. That's just how I look. <laughs> you and I are a bit similar. Guess what she said to me after that? She actually said that she thinks I'm cute! <laughs> now I've got invited to the observation! Hey, you hear me, Leon? I say we really go for it. Only four more days until they all go home. It's lunchtime. Why don't you eat with the others? It's a habit. 
you become defenseless while you eat and sleep. Your reaction to the enemy is slowed down. Enemy? Yes. I used to be in the military. The military? Do you think that's strange? Uh, of course. I mean, you do just look like a normal girl, you know. Normal? Uh, normal. Just a girl. Don't you want to see it? It only comes around every 200 years. It won't happen again in your lifetime. I I'm talking about Allie's Comet. The comet that we transcribed about on our first day. That's right! D don't you want to see it? it? It's supposed to be unbelievably beautiful. Yes, I'd love to see it. Is that right? Then I'll meet you at 2 in the morning at the lodging house in three days. Be there. Sit over here. There's Allie's Comet. It's most easy to see the tail of the comet when it's in the east sky before sunrise. Sir, you... Don't worry. I'll be just fine. Have some soup. Sir, you're very kind. What are you saying? I'm not kind at all. I'm not too good with women, either. I act so cold with them. Do you remember the conversation you had with the guys at the library? Yes. Everything they said back there was true, you know? The stuff they said about me and my family. My mother was a wanderer, a traveling entertainer. She would tour around to dance, sing, and perform her talents. And that was when she fell in love with a man from this town and had a child. That child was me. Looking back, I think we were happy as a family. But one day, my father never returned. He was in charge of gathering documents at Shahar. So he would travel the world in order to collect valuable books. His work involved visiting dangerous territories as well. Finally, when he was away for work one time, he disappeared. After two years, they stopped searching for him. Mother! <gasps> Leon! Wait there, Leon! I promise I'll come back with your father! No! Don't go! Mother! Mother! <laughs> Mother, don't leave! She loved my father more than anyone. So she must have felt that she had no choice but to leave. I guess she never thought about her son that she was leaving behind. That's when I learned that all love does is make fools out of people. So that's why I... Sir, it seems to me your mother was very important to you. <laughs> yes, well, what about you? Actually, I don't have any blood relatives. However, there was somebody else who always took care of me. We're separated now, though. Don't you get lonely being separated? Lonely? That's an emotion I do not understand. I understand what kind of emotion it is, but I can't tell whether it's happening to me or not. Are you being serious? I'm unable to lie. So then, do you think about that person sometimes? I think about him. Always. And doesn't your heart feel heavy when you don't see that person for a long time? It does. <laughs> that's what it feels like to be lonely. So that's... lonely? Then I guess I've been feeling lonely being separated from that person. Hey, I have a question. What if someone told you that person was in danger during your contract with me? 
You, you don't know if you could save that person, even if you went. Would you still go? Sorry, I'm being difficult. No, it's not that. Huh? It's just that it's not a question. And I didn't think you would like my answer. Oh. For me, that person's existence is practically the world itself. Without them here, I'd rather be dead. I see. Okay, then. You don't seem like the type who would say things like that. Is that so? Wait, so then that means... That, uh... <laughs> that means that you must be in love with... A... Sir, that comet... I think its tail is getting longer. Huh? Oh. Violet, do you see how beautiful that is? Yes. I've never seen a star that close before. It's not a star. It's a comet. And we're never going to see anything like it again. This is basically a once-in-a-lifetime encounter. Yes. I see it. It's magnificent. Parting was not a tragedy. In the eternity of the land of fairies, they were blessed with a new vessel, and its soul would be protected now and forevermore. Thank you for all your help, everyone. Take care. It's been a real pleasure. Goodbye, you guys. You guys come back again, okay? Sir, it was a short time, but thank you for taking care of me. Sure. Violet, uh... Yes? I, uh... I work in the transcription department now, but I always wanted to collect documents just like my father. If I waited here, I thought that maybe my mother would return with my father someday. And I secluded myself here for all of these years. This place allowed me to do that. It's what I wanted. But I've made a decision. I'm gonna travel the world, just like you do. I know I could face a lot of danger. I might even die. However, it's my choice to go down that path. Yes. Then, maybe one day, we could meet again somewhere under the starry sky. We'll both be travelers. Violet Evergarden. Yes. <laughs> if that happens, could we watch the stars together again? Yes? Farewell, Violet Evergarden! How likely is it for me to run into her again during my travels? Perhaps... Only as likely as seeing that comet again. Even so, I'm never going to hesitate anymore. Because she gave me the courage to move forward, beyond the doors I used to be locked behind. Someday.